Welcome back to the channel, Underdog. It's me, your boy, Eric. And yes, now we're finally doing something about the Z. <laughs> it took me quite a while, well, because, you know, I was busy with work, busy with, oh, you know, a weekend of vacation. But this time, we're going to be working with the Z. The problem is, it's not really a mod. It's more like a maintenance again. Don't you just hate it when you clutch in into your six-speed manual and then suddenly, boom, your clutch pedal stops working. It doesn't want to come back um so apparently that's a that's a z thing here's the thing with the csc with the z is that it's located in a very unusual hot place where inside the transmission bell housing of course yeah that's that's the problem with the z so what we're gonna do is do a little bit of preventative maintenance with the Z. Obviously, we're losing sunlight. We're gonna do this as fast as we can. So here's the thing with the Z, all right? So you have your brake fluid reservoir and then you have your clutch uh, fluid reservoir. They're side by side. And let's inspect what's inside this uh, little bugger. Pop, there you go. See that? See that? That shouldn't be the color. That is a no-go, comprende? no go so what we're gonna do is replace this fluid put in a new fresh one that can tolerate really high temperature so it doesn't burn like this and this looks like mcdonald's coffee actually anyways here are the things that you will need so for this project we're gonna use some funnel uh we actually just need the uh 316 diameter i think i believe 316 a uh, fuel line a uh, a turkey baster or a syringe, an 8 mil wrench, a garbage bag, um, some paper, some shop towels, uh, an empty pet bottle, and this one's the holy grail, Motul RBF 600 racing brake fluid. This has a uh, boiling point up to 312 degrees uh, Celsius, so it should help with the uh, burning. I'm going to put the jazz down below in the description and uh, we can start with the project. All right, so first things first, you got to put your garbage bag in, tuck it in there. Why? Well, because brake fluid is going to eat your paint and you don't want that. Conserve the paint. So grab your turkey baster, mm -hmm. suck in as much as you can from the reservoir and we're going to where are you going to throw it? Well, you're not going to throw it yet. Put it inside your pet bottle or well, it's PET bottle or plastic bottle, whatever. So cautiously put it in there. Go back for seconds. That's what it is inside your reservoir. Grab a paper, a shop towel, you know, go in there, go ham, twist, turn. And then when you're done, pull it out. See what's inside. Mm, disgusting. Go for seconds and do the same thing all right and when it is clean inside what do you do you grab your funnel and your brake fluid carefully pour the brake fluid and make sure you look at the level okay because I wasn't like look at that mm, overflowing so grab your syringe and uh, don't throw that out because that is useful and yes I think I like I think the brake fluid was like $36 alone so conserve as much as you can all right uh, I don't know if this is a thing but I would you know I'm really cautious so I would put the lid back this is gonna hold all of your dirty brake fluid so what you want is to put this through it grab a screwdriver poke a hole in the middle Make sure it's big enough so you can fit your fuel line, okay? Well, here's my lovely assistant, my girlfriend. Uh, she will help me do the pumping uh, sequence in the clutch, my lady. All right, so you know which one's the clutch, right? No. Oh, no? Okay, the one on the very left, that one? This one? This is left, right? Yeah, so okay. you're. I want you to press it one to three seconds, three times, okay? One, two, all the way three. Slowly pull it back. Okay, another one. Okay, another one. One, two, so three. Okay, wait. And for the last one, you might need. You know what? Let's let's adjust the seats. What? 
Yes, I'm gonna enjoy your pumas. So wait, the last one, I want you to hold it, okay? When I say hold, when I say hold, you're gonna hold it and don't let go, okay? Oh God, I've never done this before. So you have to bear with me. If I screw this up, well, we're gonna need a new CSC. So underneath your car, go to the transmission. Where is that nipple? Here's what we need. I'm low-key scared. I'm sorry. Later. Ugh. Moments later. I thought this was gonna be easy. More moments later. I can't get the hose. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> By sheer coincidence. Okay. Here we go. Hold it. Okay, stop. It's not coming back. Okay, good. After doing the bleed, that's what happens. Now what you're gonna do is pull it back again, all right? So when you pull it back again, check your reservoir. See, it went down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep doing that until this bad boy is clear. So, let's fill her up again. How comfortable are you there? Very comfortable? Okay, press it really slow. Is there resistance? Yeah. Okay. Okay, pull it slowly. One, so another one. So two more actually. Two. It's really hard to do this. I know. Okay, good. So on the fourth one, you're gonna hold it, okay? I'm gonna yell hold. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I can't do this all by myself. Okay, hold. Hold. Good. You're holding? Okay. Let go. Is it coming back? Okay, nope. do you want to pull it? No, with your foot, it's fine. So this is gonna be a really strenuous task and uh, apparently you can do this by yourself, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's really handy that my girlfriend is here. Thank you so much, babe. I love you. I love you so much. You're doing great. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing this until that bad boy is clean. She's gonna work soon. That's why she looks so pretty and nice. But uh, we're gonna do this a bunch of times. Refill, refill. The reason why we're not pumping really, really fast, even though that's like the fastest route, is because if you pump it really fast, this one is gonna froth and you're gonna have a really bad time. Uh, and you will need a power bleeder, and you don't want that, okay? So take it slow, all right? Good. We did a bunch of uh, bleeding uh, sequences. This is what I have currently. The pedal has been going back by itself now. Um, I should know this before I actually, you know, attempt to do this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was, that was bad, that was bad. Should have not done that. We're gonna call it a night since it's already like nine, almost 9.20. I'm just gonna secure this. Good job. It looks so much better now. Uh, it's still yellow. So yeah, we're gonna try to attempt that again tomorrow. Part friggin' two. Tomorrow for sure. Alright guys, day two. So, last night we tried at least 
10, uh, 10 bleats uh, before I called it a night at 9.20 p.m. and everything was just dark. So this one's very clear compared to this, so it's a little, still has a little uh, tint of yellow. Uh, so I'm not pretty sure if I should still keep going on, uh, you know, flushing it a little bit more, but we'll see how far we could go. There she is, folks. It's, um, you know, it, that's the clear it could get well for me and this is how it looked like before like looks, looks like a watered down chocolate so what happens is it's because the CSEs inside the uh, transmission gets really hot in there um, doesn't really like it and the I'm pretty sure the OEM brake fluid that's inside and yes clutch fluid is brake fluid just letting you know um, you know, it, it burns up pretty quick. So we put in a, uh, a high temp brake fluid so it doesn't burn like this again. Um, or, you know, you, you never know, but you still have to regularly check it. So if you're doing a, an oil change, might as well check your brake fluid. All right. So, you know, just, just looking after you guys. <laughs> it actually feels so much better right now. The clutch, it's not that clunky. It feels so much better. Uh, don't mind my flip flop. And no, you shouldn't be wearing flip flop when you're driving. Cause have you ever heard of flip flop fatality? Your your flip flop could like do this crap and then boom, you know, it, you could die. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, the clutch feels so much better. Uh, I'm really glad. Well, that's that's it. <laughs> that's all I want to do with this car so I can finally drive it again. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I just want to make sure that all of the Z owners, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of the Z owners know about the CSC problem. There's even a kit for it. The only reason why I did that is because, you know, the kit actually costs like an arm and a leg and uh, I can't afford to lose an arm and a leg right now. So that is a really strenuous preventative maintenance, but hey, if it makes your car drive better, do it. Do it regularly. So yeah, that's it, folks. Um, if you like this video, guys, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe. We're on 45 subscribers right now. That's freaking great. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Take it easy, folks.